Um, we have with us Professor Dani Fisser, who is the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research at UCT, and also Sandy Shepard, who is the publisher from Duta Press. Great, thank you, Michelle. Um, we haven't really planned that through, like, step by step, but what essentially is going to happen now that uh, we will now, at the end of this very first long day, present our research uh, output officially to our Deputy Vice Chancellor responsible for research at the University of Cape Town, and at the same time also hand over our research output to our main two funders, uh, namely the GIZ and the IDRC, and uh, I'm sure you have met, or now it's the first time. Uh, that you meet, and uh, sitting with us here is uh, Sandy Shepard, our publisher as well. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to hand over our two main research <laughs> outputs, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. And you have the book, but you'll get the second one, right? <laughs> All right. And uh, thank you very much for that. And uh, Dani, i just hand over to you. I think this is the main microphone on the right-hand side as well, as, unless you want to sp uh, speak from there. I'm just going to use this. Uh, Tobias, thank you very much, and thank you for this, uh, this wonderful gift. I look forward very much to, to reading that. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on, on behalf uh, of UCT, I would just like to welcome you again and to say what a wonderful uh, event it is to have uh, people from so many countries represented here. I believe there are people from 47 countries here, and it is a wonderful uh, event that our IP unit has uh, organized here. So um, uh, congratulations to Tobias and to Caroline and Kube, uh, who have, have put all of this together. It is really wonderful, and it's also wonderful to see the immediate past director of the IP unit, Julian Kinderbeere, here uh, today. Uh, and uh, I must say, that when I read through this open air um, uh, blurb, I saw <laughs> that it said it, it was for the, uh, the purpose for gathering here is for, uh, to acknowledge the need for a more balanced and locally relevant IP laws that facilitate innovation and development. So uh, I then went, it uh, rang a bell, and I went back to the original proposal that I wrote in order to have the IP unit established. Now, I'm sure that is something that Tobias had, has not ever seen, because they, uh, so, uh, and in that, uh, I wrote the following. Um, uh, I said that what we want to do uh, with establishing this IP unit is the following. If IP law in Southern Africa is to reflect a proper balance and be capable of providing proper solutions to the IP problems that face South Africa and the countries of the SADC region, it needs IP lawyers who are committed, not committed primarily to the commercial interests of the holders of IP, and this is uh, the only way that is likely to happen if there is an independently funded IP law program in, uh, in UCT. And what I went on then to do is to uh, also say why is it important to have uh, uh, capacity in IP here in, in Africa. And then I said, and, 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 and South Africa, and I said, South Africa finds itself at the intersection between the developing and the developed worlds. In the context of intellectual property, the developing world is seriously disadvantaged in relation to the industrialized nations. At the heart of this disadvantage, um, at that stage, uh, writing in the, uh, in the early uh, 2000s, is uh, the TRIPS agreement. You know, so those are the things that animated us at that stage. South Africa in 2001 was involved in a really big fight because the, U, uh, the U.S. put us on a watch list at that stage because uh, we had uh, put a clause to allow for compulsory licensing uh, in our Medicines Control Act. And uh, the U.S. said we had con uh, contravened the TRIPS uh, agreement. And of course, we said we had not. And we stuck to our guns and we, we won the argument. But it's those kinds of things that made me and many other people realize that we have to have an African voice in the uh, global debate and that we must have a balanced voice in that. And so we were fortunate enough to be able to establish the IP unit, which has gone from strength to strength. And uh, so uh, you see today that we have uh, a really bustling um, community of IP lawyers, uh, not only at UCT, but, uh, uh, of course, uh, in other parts of the country as well, and, of course, in the rest of our region and uh, throughout the, uh, the global south. So um, 
What I uh, also wanted to say, it also comes thinking about openness and, uh, of knowledge. It comes at a very good time. It was just on Friday, the Senate Executive uh, uh, Committee of UCT uh, accepted and approved a draft policy on, on open access. And just a few hundred meters from here, there's another conference uh, ongoing at the moment, also uh, sponsored by the IDRC, uh, which is, has to do uh, with, with all aspects of openness and is part of a, of a whole um, research on open uh, uh, education uh, uh, research for development which is going on. It's a huge project uh, funded by the IDRC. And uh, uh, so we are uh, really, I think, coming to terms with that. And there, not quite 47 countries, but uh, almost uh, as many countries represented there, also most of them from the, from the global south. So I think uh, we are at a time when really important discussions uh, on these very, very important matters for uh, us are happening. I'm very impressed that our IP unit is, is doing this at this, uh, at this stage. So my uh, warm congratulations to you. Thank you very much for producing that. And uh, I just want to say that uh, UCT is behind you, and we will try and, and help you as much as we can in your very important endeavors. And to everyone attending the conference, Welcome again to Cape Town. Enjoy our wonderful weather. It's always like this. <laughs> and uh, do try and see a bit of our city as well. Thank you very much. The song, yes. I just wanted to say a few words. I'm Sandy Shepherd, publisher for UCT Press, and the very proud publisher of this very important book, Innovation and Intellectual Property, Collaborative Dynamics in Africa. Um, this is the second book that we have published with the, the co-editorial team of Jeremy De Beer, Chris Armstrong, and Tobias Schoenwetter. Uh, the first one was Access to Knowledge in Africa, the Role of Copyright, which we published in 2010. It's also one of several books that we've, we've done in collaboration with the IDRC, um, and we thank them for, for partnering with us on, on this too. Um, as you know, IDRC was, was a, a co-founder of, of the research done by the Open Air Project. Um, one of the main aims of, of UCT Press is to highlight in book form the key research initiatives happening at UCT, and this, this book is one. And we're very, we're very um, delighted that we were chosen um, by the IDRC, by the co-editors and UCT and GIZ to, to partner in this. Um, to promote a groundbreaking work and also to add it to our list. Uh, we do want to feature books with a broader African perspective and this book fits right in with that. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much for joining us for this last session. Um, and the, what remains is to enjoy the evening.